How's it going everyone? It's Sam. There is a protocol, uh, Interest in Crypto, that just went live with something really big back uh, a couple weeks ago. Kernel Protocol launched their Kernel Protocol suite of Carrot Native LRTs. I want to talk about this and why this is such a big deal. If you don't mind, hit subscribe. Turn on the bell notification so you can see future videos just like this one. Underneath the video, there are some links too in case you want to trade cryptocurrencies. And this is a partner of the channel. So I'm going to leave links to kernel underneath. If you don't know what liquid restaking is, it basically allows you to stake a token, get rewards, but then have access to that token and then restake it over and over uh, to be able to get to be able to leverage and get higher rewards. Now, of course, there is some risk with this. So always do your own due diligence. But if this token the kernel token can do anything similar to some of the other liquid restaking protocols it could do quite well ether.fi is a liquid restaking protocol on ethereum their liquid restaking token eth or eeth is the first native liquid restaking token on ethereum it's around a 469 million dollar market cap 4.07 billion fully diluted another one renzo is a liquid restaking token um, for Eugen layer or Eugen layer, and it's around a hundred sixty-one million dollar market cap, one point four billion fully diluted. So if Kern can do anything similar to that, it's going to do extremely, extremely well in terms of price action. Okay, so I mentioned that this is going to bring in uh, the first suite of Carrick native LRTs. To be clear, uh, this is similar to Eugen layer, which is a protocol that aims to leverage Ether staked tokens or ethereum uh, validators to secure third-party protocols through a process called restaking however Carrick allows people allows users to restake not just eth and liquid staking tokens but almost every uh, but almost any asset including ethereum lsts lrts a variety of usd pegged assets btc and more this gives it a much larger addressable market than Eugen layer or Egan layer with over $1 billion of TVL already accumulated in the first two months since launch Carrick's current trajectory could exceed that of Egan layer uh, and their $20 billion. You can see here, they recently announced a $48 million series a at a $1 billion plus valuation. And they're backed by the likes of Coinbase, Pantera capital, Lightspeed VP, etc. Now, why is kernel protocol needed then? They say here, why is a Carrick native LRT needed? Well, currently there are various Eugen layer native LRTs that can be restaked on Carrick. However, when restaking them, you do not receive an LRT in exchange, leaving them trapped on Carrick. Meanwhile, Carrick LP tokens themselves are a liquid. So why is the LRT needed? Why is a Carrick native LRT needed? This creates a gap in the market for Carrick native LRTs, allowing you to restake your assets on Carrick and receive an LRT in return that can be deployed in further yield bearing DeFi activities, yield markets, leverage, lending, etc. So Vector Kernel is well placed to meet this need. A Carrick needed LRT is much more complex than an Eugen layer LRT as it requires a multi-asset approach. Like we said with USD, uh, related cryptocurrencies or BTC. This makes it much better suited to Vector's tech stack, which has always been uniquely geared towards catering to multiple assets. So introducing the first Carrick native LRTs, Vector Reserve will be the first to market in providing the first suite of Carrick native LRTs. They will allow users to restake assets on Carrick and receive LRT tokens that can be deployed in further yield bearing DeFi activities. Now, in case you get confused, Vector Reserve was changed to Kernel Protocol. So sometimes the wording is mixed together, but it is Kernel now. So initially, Kernel is going to be offering three different native LRT options, including KS ETH. So you can restake any ETH denominated LST accepted by Carrick via Kernel Protocol to receive KS ETH LRT, which can be deployed in further yield bearing activities. KR ETH which is uh, restaking any ETH denominated LRT accepted by Carrick via kernel network to receive a KS ETH. 
And then there's KUSD, which is a restaking USD denominated asset uh, accepted by Carrot. And you can receive the KUSD, the first USD denominated LRT. Uh, when you deploy your kernel protocol LRT in further yield bearing activities, you'll continue to accumulate uh, the eligible Carrot XP, any associated LRT rewards, and you'll also be earning kernel points. So that can entitle users to future seasonal airdrops, rewarding early kernel protocol restakers. Now kernel is first to the market on this. Now, what kind of traction does kernel have right now? Well, they already secured $20 million in TVL prior to launch. They also have a treasury of about $11 million, uh, parts of which are gonna be used to fund buyback and burns to support the token value. They also have existing partnerships with multiple key utility partners, allowing them to put their LRTs to work. These include Napier Finance, which is a yield market, uh, TimeSwap, which is a lending market, AirPuff, which is a leverage market, and GammaSwap, which is a perps platform. So again, if you look at this versus some of these other cryptocurrencies, it does have a big potential. The fully diluted valuation at the time of this recording is about $15 million. Compare that to EtherFi, and it's just a fraction. I mean, we're talking about one three hundredth the price. Now, of course, always do your own research. By the time you're watching this, I don't know what the price is, right? I, I don't know when you're watching this, but Kernel Protocol is an interesting one to watch. Of course, make sure that you read up on it, make sure you understand it, um, but you can go follow them right now to learn more. And if you wanna buy the token itself, Kernel or Kern, um, you can get in on the ground floor of this protocol. Of course, check out the links. Really appreciate you watching. Let me know your thoughts. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.